Hey guys, so I was watching Nick's Strength and Pokemon and someone sent him this. It is a basically what I assume it is and what Nick assumes it is is a palette or multiple palettes of MetaZoo in a garbage pet box. So MetaZoo is so little value, that's what they're saying here, that MetaZoo is worth so little that it's better, you know, the, the storage, the amount of money it costs to store in a warehouse, it's more money than the actual product is worth. So some people are trying to decide, hey, what is this product? Um, is it Cryptid Nation number two? Is it Cryptid Nation number one? Are these Kickstarter boxes? Uh, but Nick makes a good point, and I just want to re iterate this is his uh really good point is that even though we see this in a situation where it's in a garbage disposal bin the person taking the picture or anyone who's a meta zoo fan is probably gonna take these home and have a good time i mean these are literally pallets and pallets of meta zoo is it um, a good idea to buy into this? No, I'm definitely going to tell you MetaZoo is literally in a garbage can or a garbage dumpster. And I do agree that this is not a good look for MetaZoo. Uh, obviously, they're saying that this game is so... I mean, it, it's trash, right? That, that's what... The, the fact that... I mean, this is somebody who owns the MetaZoo. Now... Nick says that it might be Andy or whoever's running Shaw or whoever's running MetaZoo. But I, I think it could just be a collector. I think it could seriously be a collector. You can see that some of it is opened. There seems to be one, two, three, you know, four pallets. And it actually is expensive to dispose it because there actually is a disposal fee. So that's the status of MetaZoo. It's literally sitting in a dumpster right now. I, I couldn't believe it. But there you go. I mean, it is literally in a dumpster. Uh, and there's pallets of it. And Argos Anonymous is selling as much of it as he can because this is probably the end result. Like, if there is any player base, right, it's literally in the mother effing dumpster. Like, what what else can you say? And you're like, oh, Magic is a landfill, right? Not this much of it from that picture. And definitely... If magic was in a landfill, people would want to find out. There's curious people. Oh, where's the landfill? Here, you just have a very sad state. You know, I, I made a few more vet meta zoo videos this week, and my end conclusion was: so many people pumped it, and so many people wanted um, to talk about how meta zoo was an investment opportunity, and there was not enough actual people who enjoyed the game who played the game and who loved the game and that's unfortunate for the current meta zoo player base but yeah i mean it's literally in a dumpster like i mean how much worse do you want to go i mean how much worse do you want to i mean, how much worse can it be right and again this is a product promoted by your favorite influencer sports card investor steve aoki argos anonymous other individuals in this space and now i mean if this isn't the low of the low I, like to throw it in the to throw so much a you have to accumulate so much and that's why people are thinking it has to be meta zoo themselves but i'm thinking maybe it's just some big meta zoo investor and they just gave up on their investment they saw the price that these boxes were going for and they was like you know what i don't have the time for that I own a business, uh, and I just would rather spend more time on my business. This is a epic, epic situation, though. It's not enough. Like, it's not a landfill scenario where they're putting ET, ga ET games in a landfill. It's like a few different pallets, right? That's the status of MetaZoo. I, I don't think it's going to recover. I think a lot of people were optimistic about it oh bandai and and this die and then this company and i i just don't see it and the reason i don't see it is for the same reasons that you know it's lying in a dumpster 
is the Meta Zoo card actually worth, like, is it less money to throw away a Meta Zoo card? And you're, you're paying for somebody to trash it. There is a trash fee for a dumpster, by the way, in case you didn't know. How does this product end up in a dumpster? Uh, is very concerning because that's essentially the person owning this much product saying, hey, this product is so worthless. I would pay, I'm going to pay for you to take it away. And then you got all those anonymous selling boxes and pallets or cases every single day as of his life dependent on it. So how much of this product did they actually have and how much is it actually worth? This is definitely a very bad image. It is an image that implies that MetaZoo is worthless. And that no one should be buying MetaZoo right now because you could literally get from a dumpster. People are, are dumping it. And you might be like, oh, maybe this image is fake. But like, why would somebody with this much product take the time to fake an image like this? Right? Think about it for a moment in time. Like, just think, MetaZoo fans. Think. This is a very disturbing thing, uh, in my opinion, for any MetaZoo investors or collectors because... It's a new low, and it's a new low that you couldn't really expect. I thought at least the very least it should be holding on to their product, and maybe one day it goes up. I don't think I don't think this is MetaZoo themselves, um, and the reason I don't think it's MetaZoo themselves is MetaZoo is a very greedy company, and they print a lot of promos of Rudy Chan, and they never throw anything away. They're they're basically hoarders. What I think this is, and let me know in the comments if you agree is a investor of MetaZoo having enough. They invested in pallets of this shit and it has it has not done what they believe it could have done. I am shocked that it's so much of it. Uh, it's exactly enough for a pallet. So who knows how much more this guy has and is willing to let go and will like who knows if this is the only pallet and if you were here, let me ask you a question. If you were here, would you go pick up the MetaZoo cards? Again, understand that you probably need a forklift. You probably need to hire someone with a forklift. That's like $100 uh, for this many pallets. You probably need to rent some type of U-Haul. And where would you store it? Like storage, like I was talking about storage as you get older, as you have like kids and, and children. Storage is really, really top of mind for me right now. And I don't even know where I would store it. So I, if, if you told me, hey, there's a, um, if you said there's a dumpster with MetaZoo cards that is 10 minutes away from you, all you have to do is, I would probably pick up a few boxes, but I wouldn't pick up the pallets. Um, I just don't have any room for it. I think it's one of those scenarios where maybe a game store or a single investor they're off to the next product to invest in, and they're just going to chalk this off as a loss. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, MetaZoo is literally worthless right now. <laughs> Actually, people are paying money for it to be taken away. <laughs> Guys.